Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, any placement of Capricorn. This is going to be your reading for August 16th through the 31st, 2022. Welcome back subscribers, welcome if you are new. Uh, we're building to the new moon in Virgo, which will be on the 27th, and that is in your fellow Earth sign. Also, uh, for those of you who don't know, I am a clairvoyant psychic reader and healer. I specialize in distance readings and healings. It doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world and have been a full-time master healer for clients globally for over four years now. The link below um, to my website, all the information is there, and there's also a 15% discount off your very first session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. All right, Capricorn, let's get you an overall energy here. Okay, I love it. You've got the owl spirit. You see clearly now. Um, I'm also noticing the crown on the top of this um, owl's head. So there's really um, a message here, Capricorn, for you around your higher knowing and your higher wisdom coming through. And you can see clearly now. So you're gaining clarity around um, people in your life, situations in your life, maybe certain patterns that have shown up for you over and over again. You're starting to see your part in those and the clarity is there. So um, what you weren't able to see or capable of seeing before is now very, very clear for you. And from this clear space, Capricorn, I'm seeing that you're able to grow and expand and continue moving on your path forward so really loving that energy for you okay let's see what else we've got for you all right capricorns All right, second row is your specific person, those of you dealing with a specific person. Oops. Okay, we'll take those. And third row is any clarifying messages. Okay, first up, Capricorn. I love it. We've got Ace of Cups starting with um, Five of Swords and Nine of Cups. So. For a lot of you, I'm seeing a brand new love coming in for you with the Ace of Cups here. This is joy, happiness, love, romance, and with it being an Ace, it is more than likely a new connection coming in. So it could be a water sign coming in for you, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, and I'm just seeing um, like an overflow of happiness and excitement around this. Um, interesting though, with the five of swords in the middle, this can be a little bit about a battle, a disagreement, a little bit of arguing. So be mindful of your words, Capricorn. I'm kind of seeing this more as um, like a warning to be mindful of the words and to speak from the heart and not from the head or from the, the mind or the ego. And um, there won't be any challenges with this. Five of swords really can be about uh, being right, blaming others. Um, it can be like a disagreement where one person just is too stubborn and will not budge on their perspective. So again, I'm seeing this more as like a little bit of a warning to be mindful about this Capricorn. And this can be you or this could be um, someone that you're dealing with as well. It is a, a general reading. But with the Nine of Cups as the outcome here, this is wishes fulfilled. And this is like true happiness and joy um, in within the self. So not needing anything or anyone outside of you to be happy. And um, this Ace of Cups also could be speaking to the inner love and the inner happiness that you are feeling. But for a lot of you, I am seeing new love coming in and a new connection coming in. And that is allowing you to really also just have this, um, this inner happiness and Nine of Cups is also wishes fulfilled. So this could be something that you've been wanting and wishing for a while now. Uh, maybe a love and a connection uh, that is deep, deep, deep in the heart center. Really beautiful. So again, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. I'm also seeing um, air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius out there. All right, those of you dealing with a specific person, those of you dealing with a specific person, we've got Six of Wands, Page of Swords and Three of Pentacles. 
Really beautiful energy here, Capricorn. Those of you dealing with a specific person, I'm seeing a reason to celebrate. So hard work paying off here with the Six of Wands. Whatever the two of you have been through, the challenges, um, the difficulties, whatever it is, I'm seeing you guys on the other side of that now. And the Six of Wands, again, it's a card of celebration. So um, you're in a good place. I'm also seeing this as recognition between your family, your friends, your community around uh, the connection here with your specific person. Page of Swords is bringing communication. So messages, emails, uh, phone calls, uh, any form of communication here. The Page of, of Swords really comes in and just gives whatever communication is needed and it comes in in a very clear way. Three of Pentacles here is a collaboration. So I'm seeing that the two of you um, may have needed an outside pr opinion, perspective, or support in some way. This could be speaking of therapy or some sort of guidance and support from a family member, from friends, uh, your community around you. And I'm seeing this as like a positive collaboration or the information that has come in in regards to you and your specific person has been very helpful and uh, in a very good way. And that is why um, there's celebration, there's joy, there's happiness, and there's very clear communication here between you and your specific person. So this is really, really beautiful. Um, also, just a side message that just came through is your specific person may be very focused on work right now. So they may have a little bit of distraction with work projects or uh, teamwork or something like that coming through, okay? So let's see, we've got fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries showing up here. All right, third and final row, Capricorn. We've got five of pentacles, eight of wands, and the empress energy. So the five of pentacles and the eight of wands here, I'm seeing this as a movement and action and positive momentum forward, moving away from things that you have felt disconnected from or there has been some sort of a disconnect. So this can be a spiritual disconnect, a physical disconnect between you and another, um, some sort of communication um, disconnect. But with the Eight of Wands here, it's changing, it's shifting, it's positive movement forward here, okay? I'm also seeing travel for some of you and moving towards the Empress energy. So the Empress energy could be you, Capricorn, you just feeling in a loving, nurturing, very grounded space within yourself, or this can be the person that you are dealing with. You're really seeing the amount of love, the amount of compassion, the amount of um, nurturing, beautiful energy that either your specific person or this new love coming in for you is really embodying and capable of um, of providing and being in that space with you. So the disconnect that you've been feeling is shifting into a deeper, more nurturing, really beautiful and yummy connection here. So um, when I say nurturing, I'm seeing this more at like a soul level, an emotional level, um, although the physical connection is there as well with the fire energy here, but um, things that you've been disconnected from are, are on the out, Capricorn, which again is a very positive, positive thing. Okay, so just to recap, um, strong water, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, also a lot of air energy out here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and we do have fire, so Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries coming through for you. Another thing I'm noticing, Capricorn, oh, we do have one, just one major arcana card, so not many major arcana cards in this reading, so um, that to me is a lot of the major lessons that you've been going through, though you've moved through those. And remember, with the overall energy that you can see clearly now, it's like you've gotten the lesson, you've gotten whatever you've needed to have gotten, okay? Beautiful. Let's see, any other message for you? Ooh, okay, I love this card. Capricorn, you've got forgiveness. Where is forgiveness needed in your life? This is forgiveness that you need to give others as well as forgiveness that you need to give to yourself. Forgiveness is the fountain of use. And you know, when we forgive, it's not forgetting what has happened or what we've been through, but it's freeing ourselves 
from allowing those things or situations to still affect us in a negative way. So the forgiveness sets you free and I'm noticing the wings here as well and also kind of this dark moon behind the head. So at this new moon in Virgo on the 27th Capricorn, I am encouraging you to plant seeds of forgiveness, of letting go, of allowing the healing to come in so that you can continue moving forward because you have a lot of really, really beautiful things lining up for you here. So I love that this forgiveness message came through for you. It kind of is the last piece tying it all together. Okay, let's get you a spirit animal message. Also with the owl, the you see clearly now, now that you have clarity, the forgiveness also might be able to flow through more easily as well. Okay, your spirit animal message is the puffin partnership. Accept yourself and your colorful personality. Feel confident about being you. You are a joy bringer. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will give you the best results. That what was coming through here is teamwork or an outside perspective. Feel confident being you. Capricorn, that is what you're doing with this Nine of Cups and the, the celebration. You are in a really good place. And the partnership, I am seeing partnership, love, new connections as a stronger point in this reading for you. So very exciting stuff. I think that's all that is coming through for you. I hope this resonates. You can always watch your moon sign, your rising, or any other placement of Capricorn. Um, thank you for the likes and subscribes. They do make a difference. And if you missed the intro, I am a master clairvoyant psychic reader and healer. I specialize in distance readings and healings. It does not matter where you live. Um, I have been a full-time master healer for clients globally for over four years now. So the link below to my website, all the information is there for you. And please take advantage. There is a 15% discount off your very first session with me. So um, if that is helpful, that is there for you if you feel called to do so. Otherwise, Capricorn, I'm wishing you a beautiful finish to August. And I will see you guys back here for the first half of September readings. Take care.